Hey everybody, this is Buddy. I've been waiting on a good sunny day to show you this bench. You see all this right here? In the summertime, when you sit on this bench, I'm going to sit on it and show you the view right now. See right there? That's who owns it. Oh, uh, that's who put it here. But, oh, this is such a beautiful view. In the summertime, it's a field of green. You can't even see the water. Now, I don't know who's in charge. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I, maybe I do know who's in charge. This is, this is, there is a lady that is over the parks. And that's her name. Now, if you are like me and you love to stir up some mess, well, you call this lady and tell her you've seen a video on Buddy's channel, Buddy Huggins, and that you want her to make sure that when summer comes, when we look out across here, we can see the water and everything. So what they got to do is they got to bring a cleaning crew and why it's before it starts getting green, they got to cut everything down and cut it and you know, make it where it's down so it won't grow back. There's one, two, three, four, maybe that big tree right there, a couple of limbs can come off of it. But if you could just clear it right here, I know I've got pictures of this in the summertime when I'm talking about how bad this is. I mean, this when it grows up, you can't see the river. You cannot see it. And so to, how you say her name? Samantha Payne. And she is the Park and Recreations Director for Ozark. So, honey, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but uh, <laughs> we got to clean this up over here where these people, I see old people sitting over here and they talking about, well, I can't see the, I can't see the river. And her husband's half blind and he can't see, but they walked all the way over here because they was here in the wintertime and they seen that this was a good view. And then they're sadly disappointed. So, do we want to disappoint people? I don't think so. I think what we want to do is we want to use some of that money that the city has got saved up in that CAFAR, Comprehensive Annual Report Form, 19, no, 2012 or 2013, showed it had $85 million. And that money is being used as cash, liquid. And it, that's what the, they don't want you to know. They gambling with that money on Wall Street and doing all kinds of things to invest it into money-making deals. These people ain't about losing. They consider it their money. The owners of this county consider it their money. The city just is, they consider it their money. So when they tell you that the CAFAR, the Comprehensive Annual Report Form, is about tractors and lawnmower cutters and gravel trucks and stuff like that, and it really don't represent cash, do your homework. Look up on the internet what is a co Comprehensive Annual Report Form and how can it be hidden as a second set of books for government. Local, state, even schools have them. All kinds of businesses are required by federal government to have it but they ain't telling us the truth. Long story short, let me get to the point. The point is, it wouldn't take nothing to keep this clean where you could see the site in, um, in summertime. It wouldn't, how much money would that cost y'all? It wouldn't cost you, you'd have to cut it maybe three times a summer. Dead gummit, y'all can do that. Miss Samantha, I don't mean to be hollering at you. I know you're just, you're just doing your job and you got, you don't, so there's a lot of things you're doing that are good, but 
there's a little bit more that could be tweaked that would actually benefit and help people. So it's kind of like his manhole down here that's sitting real low and it's flooding sewer out every time it comes a big rain and then especially when it floods. And there's, there's rules and regulations about manholes being in a floodplain and whose responsibility it is to raise it. And I'm telling you, Mayor, and the city manager, it falls right on y'all. If you're polluting the uh, water basin for the Finley River, it's got your names on it. Historically, it's going to have your story about it, how, how y'all went for years and years knowing that it was a problem, but just didn't want to spend the money to raise it or do away with it, make it where... But see, there's rules about how many man sewer hose got to be within such, you know, yardage and miles and quarters, footage. It's that kind of thing. So, all we got to do, people, if you, they teach us that, you know, if we see something, say something. Everybody don't know what that really means. It does. It does mean like what I'm talking about. If you see the government and the city government, and the state government, and the local government, all cheating, all doing things that's not right, not spending the money where they should spend it. See something, say something. Make a YouTube video, talk about it. Go to city meetings. I can't go to no city meetings till I get back from Jamaica. Hell, I may even find out what it takes to qualify for mayor and run for mayor. That might be what I'm gonna do. Can y'all imagine that? My Facebook family, my Twitter family, my Instagram family, social media family. Can you imagine Buddy Huggins, <laughs> mayor of Ozark, Missouri? <laughs> Look, stranger things have happened in my life. I go from being mayor, straighten this whole area out. Next thing you know, I'll be Congressman Buddy Huggins from Missouri. <laughs> Shoot, I ain't gonna stop there if that happened. You know, if, if, if I got to be mayor and did a good job and then got to be Congressman of Missouri, you know what I'm gonna set my sights on? I'm gonna set my sights on being president. Can you imagine? Buddy Huggins, the president. They'll want to use my real name. And I'm going to have to tell them that my real name <laughs> is Buddy. How'd they get that name? Real quick. All right. When I was real little, my sister was born before me. Like 18 months, something like that. So as soon as they told her and brought me home, she kept saying, that's my Buddha. That's my Buddha tell everybody that's the Buddha and people said no that's buddy you're trying to say buddy ain't you nah. and so they named me buddy but she knew me she knew me from out of this time continuum she knew me from the the quietness and the stillness of her spiritual being she knew that that's what I was and that's who I am now can I take Buddy Huggins and this physical body and story and be a mayor, be a congressman and be a president. Dang right I can. I can do anything. Let's see if I can get this, see this manhole here? Let's see if if by the time I get back from Jamaica in three <laughs> in three months, I'm gonna be in Jamaica for three months. Let's see if they could uh figure out a way to raise that up and make it match everything that they tell other people to match is codes policy and procedures it's in a flood plain that's why it leaks sewer i want to show you it leaks sewer all the way down here to this low spot and you can see where it's it was standing water once it gets to a certain elevation like the man said the day i was here filming this see this this low spot it runs into the river so when this fills up with sewer during the flood he witnessed it taking the lowest route see all that white stuff that's sewer 
and see it follows that low path once it builds up now see it was all back here see the white stuff that come from the manhole all right I just stirred the pot a little bit I gotta go and <laughs> finish doing this this walk all right can it happen? Ha <laughs> ha!